I'm Science Project started off with um, teaching young girls fun, exciting and hands-on science experiments in Johannesburg, South Africa. Now we are in Kigali, Rwanda at the SOS Technical High School where we are teaching girls coding and show them how easy it is and how much it actually is part of our daily life. These 22 incredible girls um, are with us now since almost five days, creating different projects they are interested in and different projects where they see a need to speak about, a need where there is something um, they want to express through coding. I've been attending this arm science project, which is really funny. At first, I was nervous. I felt like coding was really difficult, but to be honest, it's not difficult. We had an amazing training where we uh, with the two trainers, with the two mentors, we, we have been able to train the two girls how to code using Scratch. Scratch is a simple way to learn coding. So our 22 girls, uh, uh, grouped in four groups, uh, have made their own project. Can be learned in a simple way when you're using uh, Scratch to code a simple way to learn science. We made a story. So the story we made is all about bullying. So as we all know, in most of high schools there's bullying, so especially for the new students. So someone was being bullied. They came another girl, new one. What the new girl has to do in that story is to stop that bullying. So what we want here is like stop bullying in a good way, not in a bad way. Don't fight, don't do anything bad, just like say something that might change someone who's bullying the other so have made a game using the Scratch app, which helps us to, to make that game. Scratch contains all code, codes which we may need to make a game. So what we do first is to think about the game or the project you want to make. Then you arrange the codes, you put their conditions, whatever, then your game is real. Then our game is all about teaching us mathematics because there will be where we needed like to use angles where we needed to to calculate the distance because it's it's a ping pong game where by the ball goes then it comes back there there is also in physics gravitation force because if a ball touches the ground then it goes back it means there there's a gravitation which also is a science. <laughs>